In this video I'm going to compare two different methods for crimping heavy gauge wire. This is 4 gauge wire and a 4 gauge terminal lug. So I'm going to be using this impact crimper. It's made by Temco. It's a TH007. And what you do with this one is you put the terminal in there and then you hit it hard with a hammer a few times. And I'm going to be comparing that to this hydraulic crimper which has some 4 gauge dies in the throat right now. Now this hydraulic crimper, I originally bought it for crimping stainless steel cable railing for deck cables and it worked amazing for that. There we go. That's a pretty solid crimp on there. For 1 8 cables, I use this 8 gauge die, and I mean, I use the crap out of it. You can see it's pretty worn out, and it worked great for that. So, first, let's do this hammer crimper. So, put the terminal lug in there. This crimper does a really effective job. Here you can see it really smashes that terminal into the wires. And it doesn't do any major damage like bending to the terminal lug. Kind of keeps it in good shape. So this is a 4 gauge die here. And this is a 4 gauge terminal. So let's give this a try. Now one thing I'm worried about is that it's going to squish the terminal out to the sides and possibly do some damage to it. So, let's see. So this hydraulic crimper definitely squishes the sides of the terminal quite a bit and it still feels like it's a good crimp. I just don't really like how it's squish those off to the sides. It doesn't make me feel like that's as strong of a crimp or as durable of a, of a crimp as this one from the hammer crimp that's smashed in the center and this is not deforming the metal to the point of damaging it like it is with this hydraulic crimper. I almost feel like that with the hydraulic crimper I need to start with the larger die first and then move to the smaller die after it's compressed a little bit. But this is my preferred crimp. You see how there's a plus sign in here from the hammer crimper I don't know if that's just a feature of the crimper or if that's to indicate positive because that would be interesting to see if there's another one that has a die that has a negative 